Kiwi, I'm the queen of Kiwi, and today let's see I'm outside. And while I'm in the video, it's one second. I'm gonna be doing basketball tips and tricks of playing on basketball hoop. I'm a basketball player, yeah. And yeah. also, if you see my shirt, it's a little wet. Um, my dad moved his car because I didn't want to hit it. And I had to hold my dog because he's taking him for a walk right now. And I had to hold him at first because I didn't realize I could just like hold him close to his, really close to his neck. But I'm a little wet because of that. But um, I'm going to start this video. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe, go home, subscribe down below, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Also, if you want me to do other tips and tricks, like with different sports of that I play, I play um, softball and football. So, those are the, f I play flag football. Um, those are the sports that I can teach you. If you want, I think the comments are disabled. So, if you want to tell me that you want those, Subscribe button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And let's just get on with this. But first, I gotta get the trash cans out of the thing. So, let's you make me not see my face in this part. It's because I can I mean, I want to show you what a dribbling is. You, you don't want, want the dribble to be up here. That's way too high. Bye. Your waist is good. Maybe a little, like a little above it or under it. But by your waist is a good dribbling pop. And what you just saw, I was dribbling on the side. Then at the end, you want to dribble on the side because if it's in front and you trip, that could really hurt. So on the side, you can kind of go all these different things. But what I'm doing right now is a crossover. So you kind of just bounce, bounce in the middle of your leg. So like, to your, uh, well, little so you can see. Let's uh, have my legs spread apart so you can kind of make it upside down. Then you kind of go bounce in the middle, bounce in the middle, pull it over. So like, lay on the bounce, where you want it to bounce is if you have your legs into a V, upside down V, you want it to bounce in like right there and force it to come over Ooh, pull it over so kind of like that so if you're bowling with the short you should go yeah also i did this for a really long time i went like this i went like this i just laughed i did this when i first started too slap this ball. You want it to basically like your hand is a magnet. If you just bounce it should come right to your hand and it should be like a magnet. Like it sticks to your hand. So like if you keep it in control it should just come up. Also as you see I'm looking at the camera because I don't want to be looking like first of all I don't want to be looking down here and then talking. And second of all I don't want in basketball, you want to be looking up for any players that um, are open or to shoot a ball. You can pass, you can dribble, you can shoot. This is what one of my coaches taught me. The um, defense is, er, the triple threat. Let me get adjust you a little bit better so you can see my legs and what I do. I just did you a little bit more. Now you won't be able to see my head, but you can see my legs. I kind of go like this. When you're here, you could shoot, which you won't see if I make it, but I'll tell you if I do. You could shoot. I could make it. I can't. You could dribble. From here. You can pass from here. You can do three things. You can dribble. Can pass. So that is the triple threat. 
Um, now let's get on to shooting. My hoop, the one that I have here, is a little bit interesting. It has two things and then like a big open thing. I call this the face. So the eyes are those two little dots and the mouth is the back or like the small little square. You always want to aim it in the mouth and then this is like, and that is like the throat. So here is just like normal shoot shot. some water and here if you here's another tip if you're practicing outside and it's kind of wet like it is here and you and you have to keep practicing it's kind of like you like flip it back uh, onto the ground it kind of gives the wetness on the ground instead of on your hands and it makes it a little dry you can do whatever when you want. Also, I forgot to show you one of the bed dribbles. Can you go behind your back? When you do this, and you can kind of twist your body to make it easier. So when you get really good at you, it you can work. I'm not that good at it, so I can't do it, but you can just go kind of, oops. That's not what you can do, but you can go. When you can do it, you don't have to go. Like this, but right now I'm still in here. So I'm still landing. Now, another shot is over here. Side shot on the ground. Most likely, it's down. Oh. Okay, fall in the water again. Most likely, it will go in every time you shoot. If you get it, oh god. Sorry guys, I'm so sorry, that just happened, okay, most likely it will go in every time You can dunk. I'm not tall enough for that. Come on. Yeah. So that's kind of just like basics. Then there's defense and offense. Like a lot of sports. So defense, put your hands out and you always keep one hand. When they're moving, you go like this. You always keep one hand up because if the ball goes this way, you have that hand that follows it. Ball goes this way, you have this hand out, follows that. But you always have one up because if they do a like, like a shot, like just a random shot, you you have that hand to block it. Where if you go, if you go, and it, by the time there, it's probably in the basket, or yeah. So you always want to keep one hand up. Second, um. Another thing is offense. Offense is where you have the ball. So this kind of goes along with what I just taught you. Dribbling, shooting. Yeah. Let's say you do not need to do this outside, Ken, but you do not. I try to do it at least twice or three, three or two times a week and it just gives me some exercise and it also helps me practice for basketball. I probably do this with every sport and yeah I also have practices so that's also where I do it. Um, but yeah that's just some of the things I know. Now I'm just gonna kind of play around and I'll teach you some games. Now I'm gonna play by myself just cause I don't have anybody. Um, here my dad comes walking my dog, but 
I'm going to teach you how to play horse and pig. It's basically the same thing and around the world. So let's go. Hey, so I just said hi to my dog because he came back. Now I'm going to teach you how to play pig and horse um, and around the world. Pig and horse are basically the same thing, but with pig, you have less um, lives. Basically, how you play is if you need to know how to play horse and uh, spell horse and pig. So, it's basically where you have lines and there are two people, which I need one, but this is fine too. And I really suck at this game. So, I see where I am. Around the world, pig and um, the horse are basically the same thing. They just are different names. But I missed that one, so my other, the old pony, did go and say, I'm your opponent. And the opponent made it. So you, this opponent would keep its turn right now and go to the next spot to see it. And it missed. I, I gotta go get that box so I'd be right. Ball. And my shoe, sure. It's right here. My shoe is soaked, but they missed it. The opponent missed it, so now it would be my turn again. And I am at the first spot. And it's you. Now it's my opponent's turn. And the opponent's turn. And it's you. Rock the shot. Take it to the next spot. Oh, by the way, I'm playing really right now. And I have. I. Oh wait, I'm playing around the world right now. I don't know why I said I'm playing pig. I'm playing around the world right now. Can you? And then my opponent made it. Uh, I don't remember what my opponent did, but we'll pretend that he made it. And then we'll be here. And so I am still right here. So I'm going to go to the next spot. And that's basically around the world. But once you get this spot and make it, you do not win. You have to go around the world again to make it here and that's where you win. Okay, pig and horse. How does that start to play them? But I can teach you what I remember. Basically, I don't think you need. I mean, you could play with one player, you could play with two. This is only an option. But basically, one person gets to go at any time. We're playing pig right now. At where any way they want. If they miss it, like I just did, if they miss it, like I just did, the other opponent gets to go anywhere they want. Like, no. and that doesn't make it either. So I would get to go anywhere I want again. And I missed again. So now my opponent would have to know where I went. And my opponent made it. So then I would get a letter P. Now my opponent gets P. And then I get to choose where I want to go. And I think that you got it. Now my opponent has to do it. And so that means we're tied PP. Um, well, now you, that you get, you know how to play, um, a pig, you know how to play horse. Horse, you just have more lives, so you have to go to the end of horse, and whoever spells horse first, loses. Whoever spells, in pig, whoever spells pig first, loses. In around the world, whoever gets around and background, um, wins. So... Um, basically, how it's probably my end of the end of the video. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.